Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest Cryptids and Monsters video. I thought I would mix this one in here while I'm continuing to do your Haunted Dolls and Curses suggestions. This one has to do with a strange set of encounters that involves not just one or two, but four of them in total. So I thought I would do a nice little treat for all of you Encounters fans out there. That way you'll get four separate stories that I'll feature here and then I'll get my own thoughts and opinions on each of them too. All of them come from the reddit.com website. They're from the subreddit Cryptid Encounters. Some of them sound eerily similar to one another and yet others are completely different. So I'd love to hear what your own thoughts are as well when it comes to what type of creatures that these people encounter. So let's go ahead and let's share these four separate encounters and then let's see what you guys and gals would like to say afterwards. So the first one comes from a user by the name of the Storyteller AM. They titled theirs as My Strange Encounter in the Woods. So here's what they stated. So I live in a rural area which in the past used to be farmland, but since has been reclaimed by the forest. There is very dense undergrowth such as thorns and vines and a lot of stuff to trip over. Anyways, there's a trail that I walk every day multiple times as I like to smoke back there. This trail is the only clear path through the woods. It leads in for about 150 feet and then stops at a dead end. This was my favorite spot and to walk today and I have had it I've done it for four years. Usually I wake up and go straight to my trail before I'm even fully awake. So one day last summer, it's 11 a.m. because typical teenager, I'm half awake and walking the trail. I'm almost at the end when I hear the underbrush rustling with the sound of something bipedal moving fast. So naturally, I'm like, what the hell? And so I'm looking for the source of the sound. And when I see it, it's about 20 feet away from me past the end of a trail. There was a large black figure taking off away from me. Now I stand an even six feet tall and whatever this was was probably just as tall or taller than me. Once I realized what was going on I took off running back to my house. Now I realized that there was most likely a person who got caught where they weren't supposed to be but it's fun to think that I could have encountered a Bigfoot in my own backyard and ever since this happened, I'm always paranoid that someone or something is watching me in the woods and it made me extremely hyper aware. And now I feel like those woods aren't mine anymore. Also, if it was a person, what the hell were they doing sneaking through the woods so close to my house and then sprinting away when they're caught? Then that's it. That's everything that the user, the story AM mentioned in their post. So let's talk about that briefly. For starters, here you have another situation involving a strange creature found in the forest. They were there traveling through their favorite trail. It's in the early morning or early-ish, like at 11 a.m. And then that's when all of a sudden they heard some rustling and they saw what they described. Something about 20 feet away, a large black figure, taller than the user themselves. And the user stated they were six feet tall. And then whatever it was immediately ran and ran away. So in other words, it hightailed it out of there without staying any longer longer and the user wisely did as well so what could this be now i'm thinking too that it could have been something along the lines of a bigfoot because here you have something that's very tall that has a blackish shape it's large as the user described and it likes to stay away from people like it was running off the moment that it was encountered all of those traits seem to point towards that particular creature because they are notoriously shy they're experts at being able to stay away from people even sometimes in areas where there's other people as well and so here in this case I think that's what it is most likely too. I totally understand the user as well their encounter because I kind of had a similar path um there was a a uh area that I went to, the Presidio La Bahia, 
No, I'm sorry. It was the uh, another place that was nearby the Presidio de la Bahia, and there there's a phantom wolf that's heard and or seen in some cases. And so I was in that same area by a forest going by a trail. I was just finally turning back after a very, very long entryway into the trail, almost doing the full two miles altogether. And then that's when I heard a rustling and a panting of what sounded like a wolf. I didn't see it. And I was the only person slash thing that was there. Nothing else was around me. Even though I was completely covered by all of these woods, I would have absolutely heard or seen something beforehand. But now, all of a sudden, something was near me. And so I kind of did it like this user and I just basically skedaddled back as soon as possible, as quickly as possible. But I know exactly what the user was feeling in that regard. Next one comes from a user by the name of Nathan Bayless one They titled theirs as Appalachia Shadow Creature. So here's what they state. I'm not sure if this is the right place to post this, but I would like to know if anyone has seen something similar. Around two years ago, one of my friends was moving from Appalachia region to Florida in a few days, and we decided to go catfishing before he left. We didn't catch anything that night on the river, and so we left around 2 to 3 a.m. On the drive back, we hit a fog. I remember the window was cracked because I was smoking a blank. My friend was half asleep in the passenger seat, but still conscious. I had just looked up from changing the song on my phone, and right in front of the car was what I could only describe as a shadow being. It was tall and stood on two legs. It had no color or details, just a black void in the shape of an upright silhouette. It was right in front of my headlight too, and it still didn't show any detail. The thing about this whole experience that terrified me the most was that after it had passed us, it smacked the weeds and tall grass on the side of the road, and it made such a loud sound because of how fast it was moving. Hearing that noise after what I had just saw sent a chill down my spine. My friend and I didn't say much except to confirm to ourselves that we had indeed saw what we had saw, an Appalachian shadow man. i never seen something like that before or since. Please comment if someone has seen something like this. Would be interesting to get more insight on what I saw that's life. And that's it. That's everything that the user Nathan Bayless one mentioned. So let's go ahead and let's talk about that here. So once again, another tall, dark creature, in this case, a black void, as it was described, almost like an upright silhouette. The difference is, um, unlike the other encounter, this one was more on the lines of a shadow being. The impression I got was that it was something that was there but kind of not there. Like you're staring at it, but you couldn't really make any features out. Like you, the user never mentioned anything about eyes, never mentioned anything about fingers or about feet or anything like that. It saw that it had two legs and it saw that it was upright, but then that was about it. Could also be the fact that they were in the middle of the night, 2 or 3 a.m. They were in the middle of a fog as well. And they described that this thing was moving so very, very fast. And the fact that it made that huge sound whenever it went into the tall grass and it hit the weeds at a huge speed, as they described it, it was almost like a smacking sound. That would be something that, again, is very alarming, makes it show that it's 100% real. So what could this be? First impression I get, too, is an Appalachian area. That's areas prone for Bigfoot. Like, that's an area that uh, it would be wide open for any kind of, of civilization of Bigfoot that are out there because so much of that area is still unclaimed. It's funny. I was just watching a really good show called Coal, C-O-A-L, Coal. And there, uh, it's in Appalachia. It's in West Virginia. And it showcases a season involving some miners and it showcases the surrounding areas and it is nothing but forest nothing mountains galore forest everywhere and then there's that little tiny mine so i could totally imagine something like this being out there whatever this Appalachian shadow creature is and then it's there and nobody would ever know it unless they ran into it by accident like this user did what do you guys think is this another uh, some kind of a Bigfoot as well. Let me know. Next one comes from the user TRP0102, and they titled theirs pretty succinctly as Skinwalker or something else. So here's what they state. Last year in Michigan's Upper Peninsula, I took my girlfriend out hunting. 
a couple of hours in and we weren't really seeing anything, I bent down to grab a beer, which was on the other side of my girlfriend. And, I, and once I came back up, I glanced out the window to see if there were any deer. I didn't see any, but I saw this tall, lanky, pale, and bald creature of some sort running through the woods faster than anything I've ever seen. I have to say it cleared a 100-foot section of the woods in at least a couple of seconds. Luckily, it never saw me, or so I think. It looked like it was trying to run behind the blinds. Safe to say my girlfriend and I got the hell out of there as soon as possible with a fully loaded 30-30 and not much else. Not that that would have done anything to that thing. The scariest part about this story is that my girlfriend finally got to see it with her own eyes running across the highway right by my land, meaning it's still stalking my woods. What do you guys think this is? I've been teetering on a skinwalker for about a year now, but now that I've found a subreddit, I'd like to get others' opinions. Thank you for reading. And that's it pretty much from the user, TRP. 0102. So let's talk about that. So this is in Michigan, the Upper Peninsula. Never really heard of that area being prone to anything involving skinwalkers. Let me know if any of you guys and gals are from that area and know more information about that. But the other impression I got was that tall, lanky, pale, and bald. The comments on this particular encounter are pointing it towards being more of a crawler. And that's what I think it is as well. Here you have a situation where this is a creature that perfectly fits that criteria. It moves blindingly fast as well. User stated it cleared a 100-foot section of woods in just a couple of seconds. And apparently it's still there. That was pretty freaky too, hearing that. Not only did they see it that one time, but the girlfriend apparently saw it in another encounter as well. And then that way, it knows, as he described it, that it's still stalking their particular set of woods. Freaky stuff. I'm thinking that it's more along that line, too. It's more along the lines of a crawler. They seem to hug the areas, at least based on all the other stories that I've mentioned involving crawlers. They hug the areas that people live at specifically. And so... That would make sense when it comes to it being right there, not just in the hunting area, but also now around the person's home, which is not good. No bueno when it comes to that. Uh, hopefully that user is able to. Um, this is now a story that is about two years old. Hopefully they've been able to do something to get those creatures away from it. And then the last one is this one from a user by the name of Big underscore Doinks. And they mentioned their title as Not Sure What I Saw. They said, so hey guys, this is a long story, kind of. I lived at my current house in North Carolina for about three years. When I first moved in, I had all kinds of weird encounters at night. I would be outside burning off tree limbs and things like that. I felt like something was watching me. After the first few nights, I heard what sounded like someone calling for help. Very muffled from the woods that surround my house. I shrugged it off. After a few times of that, I was walking the tree line and looking for more wood to throw on the fire. Keep in mind that this is about 1 to 2 a.m. And I had a 30-30 shell thrown at me. Now, I don't own a 30-30, so I thought it was very weird. Anyway, this goes on for a few months until my ex came in and we brought our kids into the house to live. My ex had chickens and a pig that got out of their enclosure and were subsequently killed. She threw the carcasses back into the woods. I know, I don't know why she did that either, but after that, all the spooky stuff stopped. No more eerie feelings, no noises, nothing. Now fast forward to last month, I've since gotten a new girlfriend and she takes our dogs out in the early a.m. hours before she leaves for work. I leave the house at 4.15 a.m., so it's probably about 5.30 a.m. or so when she's out with them. Twice in the last two months, she's seen what she's described as something large and pale in the wood line. The first time was last month. It saw her and then hurried off. This morning, as she was walking the dogs, our large dog was barking like crazy, and she saw this white creature again. She said it moved like it was scuttling. Larger than a deer and on all fours, but almost like what a human looks like running on all fours. As soon as the dogs got a good look at it, they began trying to run back into the house. She and the dogs flew back inside and she got ready to leave for work. She didn't see anything else so far, but 
I'm just wondering, what's up? What could we do? What does it sound like? All the other encounters I've had, I saw a physical form, only noises and eerie feelings. According to her, this thing has moved closer to the house, up now the wood line. I'm just kind of lost. I doubt shooting at it would help. Any advice or theories would be awesome. Then that's it. That's everything that the user Big Doinks mentioned in their encounter. So let's talk about that here. This one is in North Carolina. Happened about three years ago. So I'm thinking again, this is prime crawler encounters here because here you have a situation where the user was once again at night and then they sound, it sounded like something was initially calling for help, but then it started, I guess, moving about. And as they described it, it was towards a tree line and then something threw a 30-30 shell at them. And then afterward, once they just saw it at, less, at a closer area, they saw it as what it was. It was a large creature. It was running on all fours, but it was doing it in a way a human would rather than, let's say, a deer or something along those lines. And it was driving those dogs absolutely bonkers. Uh, it was almost along the lines like the dogs wanted to get out of there because of what was happening. And of course, the user's new girlfriend wanted to get out of there as well. And on top of that, it starts to get closer and closer to their location. So now, apparently, it's right nearby their woods, even closer than the previous tree line. And this user is wondering what the hell it can do at that point. So all indications and the comments on there for this encounter also say that it's more along the lines of a crawler sighting. And I believe that too as well. This will be interesting too because that's the first time I've heard a crawler basically do some kind of calling for help, like some kind of muffling sound as if they're trying to get some attention or some help. Because normally I, I haven't, I don't recall any other encounters like that. So if anybody knows any more on that, can they actually have anything along those lines about any, uh, let's say, some noises, some mimicking noises? Then please post those comments below. All right, everybody, that's it. Four encounters, four cryptid encounters from the Reddit.com website. Let me know what you guys' thoughts and comments are below. All right, everyone, thanks again as always. Take care.